What's up guys, Damien here at Freeskier.com. Today we're hanging out in Denver at Folsom Custom Skis where the guys are going to give us a little bit of insight into ski construction. Let's head inside and see what it's all about. So this is the material we use to manufacture our wood cores. Um, we vertically laminate poplar and bamboo. We've got four laminates of three quarter inch poplar, one laminate of half inch bamboo, and four more layers of three quarter inch poplar. Um, we'll take this big block, which we manufacture in-house here, and we'll vertically trim them off with our big industrial bandsaw here. Once we get this big block trimmed down, we book match all our core pairs together, and from here, we'll take these pairs to our CNC machine to have them profiled and the side cut added to them. All right, Mike, so we get the uh, core all trimmed up over here, moving over to the CNC machine. What's this guy going to do for us? Uh, so the CNC machine is a computer-driven router that is just a three-axis router that creates all the parts necessary to actually manufacture the ski. So this machine will create our sidewalls, it mills our base material, our core material. Um, this also makes all the camber molding and all the cassettes, the physical molds that the skis are pressed in. So this is a really integral piece to the puzzle to actually manufacture the skis. So this is our prep station here. This is where we put everything together and get it prepared to actually go into our pressing cycle. This is where all the pieces that come from the CNC get manufactured even a little bit further so that we can um, be ready to press them in our ski presses. press this is how we create our graphics that go on our skis um, the graphics are made via die sublimation so as you saw earlier the graphic was getting printed out itself on a transfer sheet that transfer sheet will go on top of the top sheet substrate and slide into this press and via die sublimation um, the ink in that transfer sheet will get turned into a gas and drawn into the top sheet itself and create more or less a plastic tattoo that becomes a part of that top sheet itself. So this is the physical aluminum cassette that we have that we build in-house here. We do per each sheet. Um, this cassette will actually slide in this press and this is how we manufacture the ski itself. Once we have a ski completely laid up and ready to go in the cassette here, we'll slide this cassette in the press itself. Once this gets in the press, it will go in there and stay for 25 minutes under 180 degrees. The pressure exerted down will be nearly 30,000 pounds of pressure per square inch. Now we got our ski hot off the press here. We're gonna move on to finishing. What's the first step of finishing, right? So the first step of finishing here at Folsom is we're gonna cut off this excess flashing here. So we basically use the, the metal edge as a guide and cut it out with uh, with the jigsaw. That'll be the real rough cut of the actual ski itself. So from here, after the rough cut with the jigsaw, we're gonna take the ski over to our routing machine, which puts an 11 degree bevel on the sidewall. So when it was cut with the jigsaw, it's basically a vertical sidewall. Uh, the router is gonna take the sidewall and put it down to an 11 degree bevel, which just helps for uh, top sheet, eliminate top sheet chipping. So now that we got the ski cut out, all the epoxy taken off the edges so they're nice and shiny, all the burrs taken out from the jigsaw, and uh, the sidewall sanded and polished smooth, uh, we take the ski over to our uh, grinding machine here and it's going to get the ski flat and it's also going to put the structure in it. We 
Well, there you have it, guys. A little insight into the lengthy process that is handmade ski construction. To check out more from Fulsome Skis, head on to FulsomeSkis.com. If you've got any questions about gear, this process, anything else, check out FreeSkier.com slash forums. You can post any questions you have up there, and we'll get right back to you. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.